Today we are going to learn about contour lines. So before we begin today, I just want to talk to you about what that means. So contour lines, they are lines that wrap around a curved object. They give an object volume and depth and define an object's position. So that means if an arm is in front or an arm is um, behind, this arm is in front and this arm is behind, these lines are curving different ways. So if you look closely, you'll see the lines curve in different ways. Um, we find that we have contour lines in human forms and human figure, figures when we're drawing them. So you'll see arms, legs, fingers, toes, um, all of those involve the use of contour lines. So today we're actually going to be drawing a um, contour tube and you can extend that contour tube into drawing a contoured looking person. So again, contoured lines are, draw are curved lines that um, are wrapping around a curved object to give it volume and depth and to also show if it's in front or behind. We are going to start by drawing a direction reference cube. So this reference cube, you can start at the top of your page, just in the corner of the sketchbook page. And today I say give yourself the entire room um, to use, or for drawing today, we're gonna probably need it. There's a couple different steps, so remember so it comes down, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're just using this for reference. Um, we, so here's our north, this line right here. Here's our northeast. This line right here is our northwest. And line right here and then coming down this way this is our southwest corner so kind of coming past this middle part and then this coming this way this is our southeast okay so um actually draw in different colors maybe that'll help kind of see those are the um, different directions of the lines. So we've got our north, we our northwest, northeast. So those are the lines that um, we've been referring to. Um, th those are ones that are going north, so they're going coming upward. Southwest is coming down, and um, southeast is coming down. So we've got northwest down to southeast, and then northeast down to southwest. Okay, so now we're going to, uh, using a drawing compass direction, because we've used this as our guide, we're going to draw a light guideline in the direction northeast. So I am going to use a pencil. Um, and I'm going to draw a line that's going in the direction of the northeast. So you're looking, that's this line. So I'm going to be drawing a line coming up this way. Oops, not in yellow. So I'm going to be looking at that line. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I want it to be coming up northwest. And I'm, or I'm sorry, northeast. If I said northwest, I was wrong. So northeast, and I'm going to label it uh, just for time being so I know what I'm doing. Then we're going to draw a guide dot to position the foreshortened circle at the end of the tube. So we're going to draw a foreshortened circle. So I'm going to draw a guide dot right here. And boys and girls, remember, foreshortened means squished. Just like we did a foreshortened square, we're going to draw a foreshortened circle, which is more like an oval shape that you're used to seeing. So we're going to draw a vertical foreshortened circle, which will look similar to a um, 
oval, but it's really squished. Okay, now use the line that we've already drawn in the direction northeast as a reference. We're going to draw the thickness of the tube. We're going to draw um, the line from the very top of this foreshortened circle, and we're going to slant it. It's actually called tapering. That's going to um, taper means to get smaller as it recedes away from the eye. So um, we're going to draw a line and we're going to, you want to look at this line down here because you want it to be parallel and it's just going to automatically taper because we have an oval. So that is showing with my eye, that's showing that it's getting smaller. So this is, um, where we're going to, now we're going to curve the far end of the tube a bit more than the near edge. So this is the law of size which shows that things shrink as they move away from the eye and also distorts the images. So we're going to, um, I'm just going to kind of trace that line again. I'm going to bring this up and I'm going to, I'm actually going to erase this for a second. Just to make it a little bit so you guys can see. curve to meet that line so I'm curving it okay so then now um, you can tell that the far, far edge is curved more than the near edge so this edge is has a bigger curve to it Than this front edge right here, than this edge. So this edge, this curve is more curved than this one. Okay, now we're going to draw the contour lines on the surface of the tube. So as you're drawing, notice that your curved line, your contour lines curve a bit more as they move away from your eye. So I'm going to, you're going to use this curve right here, the first curve that you use. That's your reference that you're looking at. And you're going to, as you're curving them, notice how they start to curve a bit more as they move away from your eye. And that's because that line is essentially, it's getting smaller, right? Make sure that's where I'm right curved. Again, this is like the first time that we're doing it, so it might take a little practice, a little bit of sketching, erasing. Okay. So that is the outside of the tube. Now to create the illusion of a hollow tube, we're going to draw the inside contour lines. So we are going to follow the outside edge. So this is this outside edge we're going to be following on the inside so it's actually going to be opposite of what we just did so and as i get farther in my lines get more smaller and curved so 
now this has the illusion that um, it's hollow, meaning there's nothing inside. So let's go ahead now and determine the place of our light source. I'm going to have my light shining down right here. So if it's shining right down right here, uh, this part of the tube is going to be is going to stay the same. What's going to be dark is what's is going to be on the inside of that. So that's where I'm going to use my shading. Now we're going to draw a cast shadow with the guideline in the direction of the southeast. So cast so southeast is this line right here. So our cast shadow will be drawn in this direction. That's our whoops, that's our southeast line. So if we have a cast shadow, um, that means that the light will be coming from this direction. Um, this is a really good way, this is showing sh shading the actual tube before we were shading the inside of it. So now that we're shading the actual tube, um, the, we're gonna shade up going this way, and now we're focusing on this light source, not this one. Or this will be really dark right here. softer. Um, make sure you're following the curves of the um, lines that you made. With your shading, because essentially contour lines are shading my... Sorry, I didn't tell you that earlier. Like that with that donut when we drew the donut. Okay. So then, now we would also have a um, cast shadow, and the cast shadow would be coming down here. That would be really dark. Here. This would be your five. Probably get it a little more dark, a little darker with your actual lines. But again, the shading will go in this direction. All right, so that, boys and girls, is the contoured cube. Now, once you have this, then you can do a lot of different things. And I'm going to show you a couple pictures right now. Okay, so actually I'm going to show you how to do the next two challenges. So the first one is we're going to draw a pair of pants. 
pants. And this is going to demonstrate the push and pull of contour lines. And you're going to see when we do this, um, that one leg is moving towards us and the other one is moving away from us. So first we're going to draw contoured lines going down this leg. And we're not going to put a straight line across here. Um, and then we're going to do reverse contour lines on the opposite side. So I'm just going to start kind of where that last line ended or where the line on the other side ended. And I'm going to curve it upwards. So then now, actually, if you stop and you take your eyes away, you see that you've created a 3D illusion that shows that the image is moving in the opposite direction. So, um, so you have this, this one is coming forward and then this one is moving backwards. So if you do the same thing, so I'm going to draw another pair of pants. But this time I'm going to have my lines going on this leg. I'm going to have the lines coming down. And then on this line, this leg, I'm going to have them coming up. Oops. And you can see, so it should, it should not have been off, but I'm just doing this quickly. Um, you can see that it creates the illusion um, opposite of each other. So this one now looks like it's coming forward. So that is the amazing contour tubes, but in a pant form. Okay, so now we're going to draw um, a contour kid. Um, the contour kid is going to, we're actually going to draw two contour kids. So this is a bonus challenge. I do encourage you to do it. Um, but if you don't want to, if you want to stop here, you can. But I do encourage you guys to do it. I'm going to need some more space. So I am going to um, get a new sheet of paper. Okay, so we're going to lightly sketch the head and torsos of two contour kids. So we're going to actually do what we just did um, with one pant leg going one direction and one pant leg going the other. We're going to do that with actual human forms now, but they're going to look like Michelin men or giant mushroom people, just to show you the idea. So after you draw the head, just draw a quick torso. So it can be a mushroom person. Not a mushroom, marshmallow man or Michelin man. Um, and then I'm gonna draw a leg. And just draw two. Just curve the line right here. So essentially, boys and girls, we are making those contour tubes, but we're putting them in leg form. And this is going to be like this. So notice that this is the contour tube that we just did. This is going to be. Again, not perfect. We're sketching here. All right. Um, now we're going to sketch identical arms on both contour kids, but we're just reversing the foreshortened circle from the left arm to the right, just like we did for the contour kid. So um, we're going to just draw two arms. Two 
two arms and this one will have the foreshortened circle and this arm will have the foreshortened circle and this one will just be a curved end. Okay, so we have two people. You can actually even kind of see a little bit already without even drawing the lines. You can see um, that they're stepping in different directions. So um, now we're going to draw a contour line. So we're going to have fun by drawing the arms and swinging out and the legs stepping. So I'm going to stop, start by following this line right here. I'm actually going to, I'll do it in red for you guys so you can see. You're going to follow this line, this uh, direction. I'm going to go all the way up. And then I'm going to continue. My little guy. All the way up. Um, and then when I do this line, he's going to be stepping in this direction. So I'm going to be drawing the contour lines following this line. Um, and then the arms will do the same thing. So this line's behind, or this arm's behind, and this arm is in front. And then the head just starts at the top and comes down. little guy hello hello okay so then now you can see this guy you can clearly see that um this leg is behind and he's coming this way if you want to even make like his little where he's standing like he's stepping on here um this line you can this our eye is trained to see that this um what this arm right here is behind so now we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to do opposite direction. So I'm going to take this line right here and I'm going to draw my contour lines. Going this way. And then I'm going to draw the other leg going that way. Um, these drawing, these contour lines are showing the opposite direction, showing that when we draw lines going the opposite direction, we are showing different illusions of pushing and pulling, going forward and backward. So it's a pretty cool 3D illusion trick that you're creating right now. And then if I want, you can experiment with the head, but you know, you might you change the direction of the head, the lines that the head is going in. Maybe he's going this way. So I'll just so, um, that is our Michelin man or mushroom man. My example, my suggestion for you, is to play around with this, have fun. Um, this is just a basic, oops, this is just a basic um, introduction to this. You can um, have a lot of fun with this. I will actually show you a couple pictures um, for the challenge and take what I've taught you today and do something that is interesting to you. And I hope that you have fun. All right, guys, I will see you next week.